Polari for Beginners with Edis Unit 1 Allo Ducky Allo Ducky and welcome to Polari for Beginners a short little bite-sized podcast where I teach you how to speak Polari I'm Edis, your host, and local Omi Poloni. By the end of this unit, you will be able to say hello, goodbye, and ask people you meet how they are doing. Before we start, a quick note about Polari itself. The word Polari comes from the Italian for to speak. Polari is a language that grew up in the LGBTQ community in London in the 20th century, with influences from the various languages spoken in London, such as Italian, French, Yiddish, and Gaelic. Cockney rhyming slang and backslang were also huge influences on the language. Having a common language meant that LGBTQ folks could speak to each other in a secret and protected way without raising suspicions about their behaviour to the wider society. Expressions of queer behaviour in public were illegal for most of the 20th century, hence the need for a private, safe space in which to communicate. Anyway, enough of that, my lovies, let's get on with it. First off, Allo Ducky. Repeat after me. Allo, ducky. Here, ducky is a term of endearment, but can be used for anybody you meet who seems friendly and is perhaps so, or a fellow fruit. More on those words later. You can also say cooey, like cooey. Is when you meet someone unexpectedly or you're just popping around to someone's house for a quick chin wag or a lovely cackle. Now for a full sentence. Repeat after me. Hello ducky. It's a lovely Tavada Yurik. I'll say that again. Hello ducky. It's a lovely Tavada Yurik. Literally translated this means Hello there, my friend. It's lovely to see you. In this sentence, vada means to see. Another loanword from Italian. Eek is a shortened version of ekaf, which is an example of backslang, where a word is spoken how it's spelled backwards. This word being, of course, face. Notice how you leave off the H in hello and you add another syllable into the word lovely to make it lovely. You also say your instead of your. Remember to keep your words loose and flowing. It's a tonal and musical language, so let it flow, ducky. So you meet a fellow Omi on the street and say, hello, ducky. Or even, cooey, what do you say next? Either a simple, you're right, darling? Having a bone a day of it, darling? Or for close friends, hey, bitch. Or, all right, you slag? Bona is one of those words you'll hear a lot in your adventures in Polari. It means good, and it's another word we get from Italian. It also fulfills one of the most important aspects of Polari the potential for double entendre. Bona sounds like the word bona, which, as I'm sure you can all agree, is hilarious. Spread your bona all around as much as you can. Share it with cherished friends and loved ones, and remember the bona deep within you. Look for that bona in each and every day. And when you wake up every morning, Praise that boner right there in front of you. Grasp it by the hand. So after you've had a quick cackle with your omies on the street, 
she's got to go off to get to an appointment, or you've got to run for the bus. How do you say goodbye? Ta-ra, ducky. Repeat after me. Ta-ra, ducky. Other ways you can say goodbye are farewell, or even a grand arrivederci, for those you may not see for a while. Arrivederci is another Italian loanword, but remember, you don't need to put on an Italian accent to say it. So what words have we learned today? Allo, or cooey, for hello, or hi. Ducky, for darling, or my friend. Vada, means to see. Eek, means face. Bona, means good. And ta or arrivederci, for goodbye. So now I must say ta to you, my ducky. I hope you've enjoyed Unit 1 of Polari for Beginners. I'm Edis, your local Omi Poloni. And you can find me at Edis on Twitter, that's E-double-D-U-S, or on my website, edgarvielong.com. Thank you for listening to this podcast. If you're looking for more resources about Polari, I recommend going to YouTube and listening to the Julian and Sandy sketches, which were performed by Hugh Paddock and Kenneth Williams. These sketches are an amazing way to hear the musicality and beauty of the language. As always, this podcast is dedicated to the patron saint of Polari, Kenneth Williams. Thank you so much for listening, and I look forward to taking you through Unit 2 very soon. Miami Polonies. Ta-ra!